instead of watching my clown show. Post it online so stupid kids get pissed. Cause there's one thing you should know. Making people mad is the only way to become famous. Or doing something bad. to make yourself feel better worked in high school and it still works ugly gay ugly gay ugly gay ugly gay ugly gay ugly gay you're an ugly gay all right i hope you don't have irony for blood i'm obviously just kidding you people are fucking gorgeous this looks like a convention of supermodels and i'm not just saying that because later in the show i'm doing a tipping number and i want your money so now I need more of the monitors, sorry. They were like, Jackie, do you want to do uh, a sound check? And I said, no, I want to keep sleeping. And I slammed the phone down. So ladies and gentlemen, just a quick reminder, you usually have to go on a cruise ship to get entertainment of this caliber, but you are safe on dry land in a city that no self-respecting terrorist even gives a rat's ass about. Because everyone's on strike, so you're not even worth blowing up right now, Los Angeles. That's gotta feel good. That's gotta feel good. So I am celebrating my 60th birthday tonight. No! That is not the fucking reaction I want. I want you to be like, what? You know, like, act shocked. I want a gasp and then a group no. So let's try this again. Look, wait a second, <laughs> you dumb whore. <laughs> so I'm celebrating my 60th birthday tonight. Oh my god! Oh my. I know, it's hard to believe. Okay, don't, that, now that's bordering on sarcastic. <laughs> no, I am celebrating 60 years on this planet and 35 years doing drag, ladies and gentlemen. I fucking can't believe it. So that last song was by Bill Withers, 1977, back when music was good. Now people who say back when music was good, that's how you know they're really 60. That's fucking old. That's what an old person says. So the original is Lovely Day. You know, it's something you put on when you're making coffee and feeding the dogs and you're like, lovely day, lovely day. But I fucking ruined it forever now. And that just makes me, it tickles me. It actually really does. Every time you hear that song now, you're gonna be reminded about how ooh, ugly you are. <laughs> but I don't want you to think that this 60-year-old is gonna do a bunch of songs from the 70s. Oh my God, no. I am now with this next song. I'm gonna actually, well, let me explain something to you. After the show, the Jackie Beat gift shop will be open over there. Yes, thank you. Yeah, let's clap for a folding table with t-shirts on it. <laughs> thank you. No, I appreciate it. Let's put it. Let me just explain. You can't win. If you don't react, I'm going to yell at you for <laughs> being shy. And if you do, then I'm going to be like, what a dumb bitch. Anyway, that's how it works. So anyway, here's my point. I love nothing more than after the show posing for a picture. You know, just you, me, and that thing you bought. Uh, no, you guys, you, need, you people need to know that my, 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 I can do this, my pronouns are PayPal and Venmo. And if you don't respect that, you're clown phobic. Okay? So here's the thing though, after the show when we're at the Jackie Beat gift shop, don't fucking touch me! Okay? And that's not a COVID thing, that's a I hate people thing. I picked the wrong fucking job. 
hate people. But I want to just talk about it. And like I said, not all the songs are from the 70s, I promise. With this next song, I'm going to grab the show and pull it into modern day. Just kidding. Soft Cell, 1981. Kidding! <laughs> Golden Girls. 
They do. They love it. And you know, to be honest, even some normal people like the Golden Girls. So everybody loves the Golden Girls, and my gay friends specifically tell me that they watch it like every night. They just put it on. Just it puts them to sleep. It's kind of like a, a Sherry Vine show that way. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I feel bad that I said that, and she's not here to hear it. If you're gonna hurt a friend, you know, you want to like. <laughs> anyway, no. So I was thinking, like the Golden Girls. People love the Golden Girls because it's you know just four comforting older ladies, and it just reminds you of your childhood. And and I was thinking, you know, and I love it, and it makes me feel good, and I can forget about the problems of the world, and there are so many. And um, we're not gonna talk about them tonight. Um, but then I was thinking, is there any other show that makes me feel the way the Golden Girls makes me feel? And there's only one other show, and that's The Brady Bunch. And then I thought, hey, Jackie, that sounds like a bit of a challenge. You know, a bit of a challenge. Can you do a mashup of The Golden Girls and The Brady Bunch? Because the young people love mashups. I don't see any young people here tonight. Because they don't pay for anything. <laughs> so I did it. This is my mashup. And don't worry, this is the feel good song. It's super short, and then we'll get back to the negativity. I know that's what you guys want. Okay, so should we do this? Thank you. Focusing on the one person in the audience that will not crack a smile. <laughs> that's true. Hit it! Here's the story of a slutty lady who was. So one day when they all moved in together, it was shoulder pads, banana leaves, and pearls. They were the 1980s favorite chosen family. That's the way these clubs became the Golden Girls. The Golden Girls. The Golden Girls. That's the way they became the Golden Girls. Starring Jackie B as Coco. <laughs> Remember Coco? Coco was the lit. Coco, VOD, okay, let me just tell you, we were in Valley of the Dolls. <laughs> at a very little theater here in Hollywood many, many years ago, and it became this big hit. Ron Delsner, who actually brought, like, wasn't he a producer that, like, with the Beatles and him? And Kiss, there you go. Yeah, hi. I just, shh, stop. <laughs> no, Kiss. So, anyway, the producer. He, 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 he took us off Broadway, and we were the smash hit in New York. Um, my next guest played Neely O'Hara, and I played Helen Lawson. So this bitch right here pulled my wig off every night. And she's the only person that I would allow to ever do that. Ladies and gentlemen, you might know her from The Office. She was also on Dancing with the Stars. Make a lot of noise for my best friend in the whole world, my favorite redhead, ladies and gentlemen, Kate. What a what an honor and a pleasure to perform with Jackie in so many so many venues. We we, we I, I get to sing in every dry club in New York because of Jackie. Yo, yeah, please clap. Seriously, Jackie is like yeah. Seriously. Back in back in 1999 this was, was a long time ago. But we had we had a great time and I'll tell you, uh, I I have to say it was such a joy sharing the stage with such a pro. Uh, I actually had my own uh, lounge act for a long time, the Lamp Shades. Um, thank you so much. And I, I had to thank Jackie Gate, seriously, because um, I learned how to wear a wig uh, because of Jackie. And <laughs> actually, apply makeup correctly. And, um, and thank you, Matthew, for fixing my wig tonight because like, apparently I forgot. Okay, uh, you know, I was just say, and I, I don't, did you guys watch The Office? <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so lucky I got to play with you. But let me tell you something, I did not get a lot of makeup. Um, yeah, and I mean, it was, ooh. I mean, I'm, I'm okay in that way, that's fine.
fine, but I never Jackie, I, I showed an episode before it actually started airing, and I sat in Jackie's living room, um, maybe it was Mario Jesus, and we were watching, and Jackie was like, oh honey, oh honey, you, you have no makeup on. Oh, oh, oh honey, you have nothing, you have nothing on. And it, it was the first time I, I kind of felt shame. And of course, it was a show that actually launched my career, and I thought, I literally thought, oh my God, I am never going to get laid working on this show. <laughs> but you know what? I actually, this is, I, my character got laid more than anybody else. <laughs> and I met the NBC photographer, Chris Haston. We actually met on set. He used to shoot the Golden Girls. <laughs> so when I told Jackie Peter about it, he said, hold on with two hands. Jackie said, two hands. <laughs> but let me tell you, you know, life is so pretty. I just, you know, I don't get to be glamorous. <laughs> Anywhere, uh, so I'm gonna be glamorous. <laughs> I learned so much from Jackie, and uh, um, cheaper than therapy, and way more fun. Hit it! I learned something about myself too. Someone's being bashful. That's no way.
crash, you are. Turn it on, dum dum. <laughs> oh, come on, mom, there's a cord. <laughs> Hi. How are you? I'm good. I want to stand next to you. You're not. I feel petite. <laughs> oh, I'm to eat now. Hi. I'm like, I forget to eat. <laughs> oh, I don't. <laughs> I said an alarm, bitch. Oh, hey guys, girl. what's going on? Did you have a good time? Oh, hold on a second. Wait, you can't breathe? Oh. I just want to say, I want to go on record. If you drop dead right here, I will make t shirts. <laughs> You're gonna be so lucky, man. <laughs> You're never gonna die. We're not gonna get off that easy. It's like cockroaches share Eureka. It's true, it's true. You guys give it up for Eureka O'Hara. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you so much for having me, honestly. Like, who knew you were so funny? A lot of people. A lot of people. I don't know, I don't know a lot of people that know who you are. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, they. <laughs> We'll work recast your TV show, bitch. Anyway. <laughs> At least I had a TV show, bitch. Oh, I have, okay. I have a TV show. It's just on a Canadian network no one's heard of. Yeah, it's called Out TV. Get out. Uh-huh. She's on TV. Dr. Jackie, a licensed psychotherapist. We just shot yeah. season two. And I hate to give spoiler alerts. But Nancy Allen from the original Carrie dumps pig's blood on me. Ooh. Oh, God. Cannibalism. Eureka, there's no nice way to say this. Your part of the show is over. I know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's no nice way to say as long as you know. your check bounce. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh oh. Now I'm kidding. Thank you so much. I'm not going to be out of here. If my check bounce, I'm going to have to have sex with this bitch. Oh, you might like it, bitch. That's how Hollywood works. You guys give it up one more time for Eureka O'Hara! Eureka! Oh my god. Seriously, that's, yes. 
Yeah. Oh, that's Thank sucks. you. Kissing. Yeah, that's. <sighs> or you, someone applying deodorant? <laughs> no, it's true. And so the world has really obviously changed. Uh, when I first started doing drag, um, I couldn't just go on the internet and watch a YouTube, you know, tutorial to learn how to do this makeup. I had to learn all of this on my own through trial and error. If you Google search image, uh, images of me, it's mostly error. Um, <laughs> took a while to figure out the look. Anyway, here's my point, ladies and gentlemen. I couldn't just go on the internet because the internet didn't exist. I couldn't just watch a YouTube tutorial because YouTube didn't exist. Electricity didn't exist. <laughs> and, um, you know, I make fun of Drag Race a lot. I really do. But it's, you know, it's changed drag, good and bad, you know. It used to be all gay men, now it's all 17 genders, and if you just film that, please don't post it, because I don't want to get transit. <laughs> <laughs> By the same token, I have traveled all over the world working with people like Bianca Del Rio, Alaska Thunderfuck, Jace Monsoon, Bob the Drag Queen, you know, the four good ones. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Eureka. I just, I'll add, I'll add you to the next team that you got, Joe. <laughs> you guys, here's my point. The world has changed, and... I could not do this show celebrating 35 years in doing drag without uh, paying homage to my constant companion and co-star this entire time, my music stand. <laughs> so this is the last song of the show. Not really. Where do you have to be? It's a fucking Tuesday and everyone's on strike. Fucking relax. <laughs> you blame it on the strike. You weren't getting work before. I'm fat. No, it's because you're an asshole. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, can we have a little mood lighting? Mm. What's going on? Okay. Okay. That... Work! That's, I guess that's a mood. <laughs> okay, no, that's that. Okay. When I wrote this song, it was, I thought it was just going to be real funny. And it actually is quite poignant. You'll see what I mean. Hit it. vaudeville theater where the sound ain't quite the best where the queens lip sing to gaga doing death drops while the drunk crowd screams out yes no you can smell the microwave hot wings that the shirtless waiter serves somewhere in an ugly strip mall between a wendy's and a curves and you can't help think an audience gets the kind of show that, frankly, it deserves. So here I am with my music stand. Here I am sharing the stage. Here I go reading the words again. Next thing you know, turn the page. <laughs> I've been at it for three decades from when the audience was gay. Now because of shows like Drag Race, little kids and straights will pay. For a family-friendly clown show Here's a list of words you ain't allowed to say So you dumb it down and tap dance To a room of held-up phones 
got to prove on social media they had fun away from home. And they tune or boot each move you make. They're all experts because they watch a TV show. So here I am with my music stand, looking at them one third my age. Here I go, reading my words again. Next thing you know, turn the page. You can learn to do your makeup like a paint by numbers clown. You can pad your hips and move your lips to someone else's sound. And if you need inspiration, you can always rummage through my lost and found. I may glance down at my cheat sheet while I sing this bitter song. And I may not wear a lace front or have six inch spike heels on. Honey, if you're looking at my feet, I must be doing something very wrong. So here I am with my music stand. Here I am earning my wage. Here I go reading my words again. Next thing you know, turn the page. first thing you think of when you look at me, am I right? <laughs> Granted, it's a smoked turkey bacon and provolone wrap. Do you see what I just did there? Dad jokes from grandma. No, rap is a style of music that no person my age or color should be doing. It's not cultural appropriation, it's cultural appreciation, ladies and gentlemen. And I didn't specifically mean to look at you, sir. <laughs> it's just kismet. At the opening of the show, when they said, please welcome to the stage, Jackie B. Did you see the woman who stopped me as I was walking up the stairs? Did you see that woman? She was standing right there, like, where's security? She stopped me, I almost missed my cue. Did you see this? You may not have seen it, because it didn't happen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, she stopped me and she said, she said Jackie, because that is my name. She said, Jackie, are we allowed to tip you tonight? And I said, absolutely not. This is not some trashy bar show or the Catalina Jazz Club, for Christ's sake. No! Tears started streaming down her rosacea-covered face. Oh, she was bloated and uh, like ruddy. It was, she's a mess. Uh, you all saw it. Anyway, I looked her in the eye. I chose one because we were standing very close. And when you're that close, you've got to choose one. Either way, you know, otherwise you're staring right at the Frida Kahlo, you know? So I, stared, I looked right into her eye and I said, my dear, whatever is the matter? Because she was crying. And I, and I even took her arm. I reached out and I, and I held her forearm, even though she looked ill. But I'm, you know, I'm the people's drag queen. So I took that risk. And she said, Jackie, I have been 
<clears throat> That's all planned, you guys. A very dramatic moment in the show. She said, Jackie, I have been locked in my house for three years because of the pandemic and the economy. This is the first show I've seen. And tipping the drag queen is my favorite part of a clown show. And I said, my dear, I looked her in the eye, and this time I did switch to the glass eye, which I had been avoiding up to that point. But then, you know, at a certain point, it's just rude. It's like, there's nothing wrong. It's, she's selling it. I said, my dear, if it'll make you feel better, I will do a tipping song where I go out into the audience and frantically grab cash from people for no other reason than I am still alive. So, this song was a big hit on YouTube before every fucking drag queen and man in a dress was doing videos, before TikTok, millions of views, let's do this. Thank you so much, you guys, all joking aside, I appreciate it. This really is the last song, and then the Jackie Beat gift shop will be open. And, you know, yeah, just, yeah! Oh my God, Brian, look at his crotch. It is so big. He looks like one of those drag queen's boyfriends. But you know, who understands those drag queens? They only talk to him because he looks like a total hustler. I mean, his bulk is just so big. I can't believe it's just so round. It's just like out there. I mean, gross. Look, he's just so huge. Jackie Beat, I want your meat, baby, got front. 
All right, you guys, I recognize a few faces here tonight, and I'm sorry, I have to call you out. He's dumb as dirt, but he's got a big cock. He's ugly as sin, but he's got a big cock. He's sin and retarded, but he's got a big cock. So he killed a few people, he's got a big cock. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen! Thank you so much! Thank you! You guys, please! One last time, please make a lot of noise for Eureka O'Hara and my favorite, Neely O'Hara, Kate Flannery! Thank you so much! Oh shit, what's going on? Oh no, I mean, what's going on? This didn't happen the last two nights.